And Escambia County business is out almost $10,000 worth of merchandise after two break-ins in a single day. WEAR Shani Ray joining us and Shani, the owners of the Cantonment store, hoping their video will help investigators find these thieves. Bob, the owner says the people broke in not only once, but twice. And he was shocked to see his work shed nearly empty. Take a look. Dressed in dark hoodies, their faces covered in masks. You see two people walking into this work shed. At one point, one of them is caught without their mask. This video, all captured by surveillance cameras outside Pittman's Cantonment Building Materials. <laughs> Owner Dylan Johnson inherited this business from his grandfather, who opened the store in 1982. A lot of the stuff they stole belonged to my grandfather, which he started the business, and he just passed away last December. So, um, but they stole a lot of stuff that was his that I had up here that we used to work on stuff. So it, it meant a lot to me. I toured the workshop. What was left? This whole wall was full of tools. Wasn't much. This is the list. Three pages worth of stolen items, from fuel to wrenches to even a Bluetooth speaker. We don't have any tools to work on stuff at the moment, so when something breaks, which has happened since the robbery, and um, you know, we don't have any tools, so it, it puts us down, puts us behind a little bit. Johnson showed me a hole in a fence behind his business. They cut the fence right here. He says he thinks this is how the people got in. He found tools dropped along that path. Now, he wants whoever did this to be caught. The sheriff's office is still investigating the burglary. If anyone knows anything, you're asked to call Crime Stabbers at 433-STOP. Live in Atonement, Shade Ray, WEAR News.